Access squad E, V, A. Access granted. Lunching. Welcome back. Squaddy. Welcome to the squad electronic video assistant. Hello Squaddy, nice to have you here. And welcome to the squad update preview for version 6.1. With version 6.1, we get improved support for AMD Fidelity FX. On top of that, we get NVIDIA DLSS in version 3.5 along with NVIDIA Reflex. To use Reflex, you need a GPU and a monitor that support it. Do you experience frame drops with older NVIDIA hardware? Try to enable this feature for smoother images. With version 6.1, we get hopefully finally the Sunshine Islands in the game. Since I, have, since I have already created a complete video about the Sunshine Islands, feel free to check this out. The link is down below in the description and at the end of the video. With the new layers, we can now engage in battles directly in the jungle of the Sunshine Islands, giving me flashbacks to the jungle fights in Armor 3 Tenoa Islands. Fighting in the jungle is a lot of fun. And it's very chaotic, but in a good way, in a fun way. With the new version of this map, we get easier accessibility on top of objectives. On the same hand side, we're losing accessibility to some points. For example, the liquid gas tanks. With all the new textures, the map really looks great. And it's a lot of fun to play. The only issue currently with the map is that it's off-center, making it difficult to place precise markers. And there are some floating objects still in the map middle. Speaking of improvements, there are a lot of small improvements all over the map. From the sandbank where you have easy access to the shipwreck, to new places where you can hide your radio. With all the amphibious assault stuff, the question remains, is it allowed to place radios here? Isn't it? Did we need a new rule set? I don't know, the questions have to be answered, at one point. Let's get back to the last feature of the new update, the Turkish Land Forces, or TLF. The new Turkey vehicles are faster in comparison to the rest of the vehicle of the squad. But on the downhand side, they are a little bit less armored, which means you are easier to take out. All Turkey vehicles are not only fast, they can transport a whole squad, which means you can transport a whole squad, fast, easy and safe from A to B. Even the infantry fighting vehicle can carry more than one squad. On the downhand side you lose the ability to use a Turkey OW or any rocket. By the way, the new M62 tank comes with an automatic grenade launcher for the commander instead of a Cal 50, which is great against infantry, especially if entrenched. Now let's take a look at the static defense weapons, starting with the TOW alternative, the Milan system. The Turkish land forces are the only blue for fraction in the game that have the ability to use an anti-aircraft cannon at their disposal. It is extremely effective for engaging infantry, drones and aircraft, as well as light vehicles, of course. For the heavy machine guns, we're losing the heavy machine gun bunker. But we gain two 3-pot mounted DS Hakims, equipped with one ACOG and one without any scope. As well as an APG-9 launcher, for additional reinforcements against vehicles. As well as one set of mortars. The new standard Turkish weapon is a battle rifle most closely comparable to the German G3, which is used by the MEA. High recoil and a 20 round magazine makes this weapon somewhat more static compared to other assault rifles. So always have an eye on your stamina, as well as in your playstyle. Play a little bit more slowly. Squaddy. However, the standard optic include both a 1x and a 4x spectroscope. Additionally, there's a rangefinder system built into the optic to allow you quickly and easy access to determine the distance between you and your target. Keep in mind, Squaddy, if you're suffering like me 
from the squad mouse offset bug, then just use the default settings. Then it will work and you can aim down precisely. And let's hope OWI will fix this bug, finally. The Turkish land forces are the only fraction, so far, with an automatic grenade launcher in the game. The MKE comes with two magazines, each containing high explosive rounds and smoke grenades, with six rounds per magazine. Each magazine costs 10 ammunition points. Use smokes to quickly hide your squad from enemy eyes. Or deploy smoke on enemy entrenched positions to gain the upper hand for your squad. Keep in mind, if you're using smokes, you have to unload the high explosive rounds and then you have to put in the smoke rounds. That will take some time. Knowledge and high ground gives you the upper hand in fights most likely. The Turkish land forces have a third light anti-tank, equipped with a Russian RPG. In addition to high explosive rounds, it can also use fragmentation rockets. However, there is no heavy anti-tank option available on the Turkish land forces. Keep this in mind. The marksman of the Turkish land forces does not have a zeroing system, but instead features a simple built-in zeroing system in the scope. Yes, mines for the engineer, great. I hope you enjoyed the video and were able to take away the essential information. If so, feel free to leave a like, subscribe or a nice comment. See you next time. I will leave you with a clip about a complete fraction and their equipment. Piranha, over and out.